we have for you tonight is not at super middleweight, it's at flyweight. The unbeaten prodigy Prince Nassim Hamed against the Welshman Andrew Bloomer. Here comes Bloomer. Originally hails from Pontypridd in South Wales, and when you look at a record like that, sooner or later, by the law of averages, he's got to win one. Tonight could be the night against the flashy youngster from Sheffield. Heavily tattooed. Well, he looks a picture. We'll see if he fights like one. Now then, if you haven't seen Prince Nassim Ahmed before, you are in for not only a treat, but something of a surprise. Not only is he a boxer, he is an acrobat, he is arrogant, and he is also rather good. Former Young England Amateur International, two fights, two wins, two stoppages. Just 18. A babe in arms, but with all the confidence and arrogance of youth. Managed by the old campaigner, Brendan Ingle. His family hails from the Yemen, now domiciled in Yorkshire. There comes Brendan with the green Tamashanta. Looking very natty tonight, maybe he's just come off the golf course. Over the top rope. Where he goes. Our MC tonight is Alan Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Birmingham's National Indoor Arena. A special welcome now goes to all our viewers on Screen Sport in the British Isles, Sport Canal in Germany and Austria, Sportnet in Holland and Belgium, TV Sport in France and Switzerland, Prime Network in the United States of America and live on SABC in South Africa and Star Television throughout Asia. All your officials are appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. This is a flyweight contest over six three-minute rounds. Introducing in the red corner with the white and the red stripe from Wales, Andrew Bloomer. And his opponent in the blue corner with the leopard skin shorts from Sheffield and Yemen, Prince Nazim Hamid. Well, I'll tell you, the kid is so good. today, Andrew Bloomer scaled eight stone eight pounds. Nazim Hamid, eight stone two pounds. Your referee well, he's given away is Jim Pretty, six pounds, Roy Bicknell. which is a lot of flyweight. Bloomer. More a bantamweight, really, Jimmy. I'll tell you what, Dave. He's had ten fights. He's lost ten fights. Even if it'd been the other way around, and he had ten and one ten, I still think he'd have his work cut out against this great young prospect, Nassim Hamid, a real star of the future. Well, if you're a boxing purist, you won't like this lad because he does nothing according to the book. He's unorthodox. He showboats a lot, but he's a hard hitter. Round one, scheduled for six. Hamid. In the leopard skin, Bloomer in the white. The referee is Jim Pridding. And I'm sure Homie will have his eyes focused on the rib cage of Bloomer. Because he's a devastating little body puncher. Well, you saw Nassim Ahmed start off. Southpaw style. Switch to Orthodox now. Back to Southpaw. He's a real British version of Hector Camacho. And Bloomer is mesmerised at the moment. He'll probably be thinking now that he's made a Bloomer taking this fight. <laughs> we saw Hamed's debut on Frobox when he fought the very experienced Ricky Beard. Dropped him with a body shot. That was two rounds. Last time out, Sean Norman 
That lasted two rounds. You know, this Nassim, he goes for all the tricks in the book. So relaxed. I think it's good to watch. He can fight as well. Dave, I'm going to ask you a question. What would you tell Bloomer to do if he gets through the opening round? Because how do you handle this young man? Fight your own sort of fight. Ignore what the other fella does. Although that's not easy. At the moment, Bloomer looks confused, and I can't really say I blame him. Those are the audience. And they're not getting hit. Well, Bloomer has got an enormous advantage both in height and reach and weight. As I said, six pounds at flyweight is a lot, believe me. At the moment, although he's, he's thrown one or two shots, Bloom, I don't think he's landed a glove on Hamad yet. Now, this young man, Nassim Hamid, you know, he works in the gymnasium in Sheffield with the likes of Pearl Bomber Graham and Johnny Nelson, so I'm sure he won't be worried about giving away a couple of pounds. Really show you know, Dave, the kid can fight. Oh, he's a tremendous prospect. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Jim Fridding telling him to cut out the showboating. Look at the damage on Bloomer's nose. Yes, he's already bleeding quite heavily from the nose as the Welshman. <laughs> Hammer's round, no doubt about that. I guess you could say the entire stable's a little bit off the wall, but it's successful. My word is it's successful. And you can see, whatever he does in the ring, he's not afraid to listen, Jim. No, he, you know, there's a time for play and there's a time for work. And right now, he's got his working cap on. I'm not talking about Brendan. I'm talking about Nassim. And, you know, he's listening now. He's not, he's not laughing and smiling with, with, his, with his mentor. Oh. He's listening very carefully to the instructions being delivered. You can see a, a little graze as well on Bloomer's left temple. Bloomer from Wales in the white. Prince Nassim Hamed, originally from Yemen, now from Sheffield. Bit of a change that, isn't it? In the leopard skin. He's a very strong young man, though, Nassim. He's um, not just uh, a showboater. He's got a lot of physical strength. Well, like I said... Both his previous fights have ended in round two, and he's looking to do a job on Bloomer now in round two. He's certainly busting him up, Dave. <laughs> Left, got him. And that's it, a third successive second round win. Here come the acrobatics. The arrogant swagger. Three fights, three wins. Three stoppages and three wins all in the second round. You can't argue with that. <laughs> you certainly can't. Love and the exposure, I love the cameras, and rightly so. Well, you can, I don't know if you can make out what Nassim...